We all want to see children back at school, and we all want to make sure schools are the safe and supportive learning environments they should be. In some countries, schools have reopened. In others, they remain closed. To support countries in every situation, UNESCO, UNICEF, and WHO yesterday published updated guidance on school-related public health measures in the context of COVID-19. The guidance provides practical advice for schools in areas with no cases, sporadic cases, clusters of cases, or community transmission. Given the devastating consequences on children, youth, and our societies as a whole, the decision to close schools should be a last resort, temporary, and only at a local level in areas with intense transmission. Today, half of the global student population is not yet back in schools. The longer schools remain closed, the more damaging the consequences, especially for children from more disadvantaged backgrounds who, in addition to learning, rely on school for health, for safety, and sometimes for nutrition. Before the pandemic, the world was facing a learning crisis in terms of both access to and quality of education for every child. If we don't take action now, together, the crisis will only deepen and children will pay the highest price of all.